I think not? it will be, thank you, uh, a mixture of both and everything. <laughs> uh, as a duo, we usually tend to play uh, a little bit more of the traditional flamenco uh, pieces, but uh, as we also both uh, make our own music, uh, composing and uh, making making songs, um, we will definitely bring something of our own as well to the table. And maybe also something especially from Finland. What do you think, Jonas? Yeah, it's a, the program will be a mixture of different things. There will be traditional stuff and also our own stuff and also traditional Finnish stuff, that's for sure. And uh, it's, uh, yeah, the ar arrangements are mostly by us and uh, yeah it's some kind of mixture of everything you mentioned Jonas do you want to uh, start it, it's uh it depends quite a lot it depends what we are going to do if I give you some examples for example if we are doing traditional stuff Usually Anna brings some new letters and stuff. So this is uh, the poets and lyrics. Anna brings new lyrics and then I check them and listen to them and then tr try to learn these uh, harmonies. And then I maybe compose or collect some melodies. These are called falsetas around these uh, um, words. So that's quite a normal way to do traditional stuff. And uh, if we do a new stuff, new compositions, it depends. Usually when we did Anna's first solo records, it went like Anna had some lyrics and some ideas, and then I did the, most of the compositions. And then we do the arrangements. I usually do the basic uh, baseline, and then we modify it with Anna. That was the more or less the way to do the last recording. And there was also one composition, which was more or less Anna's job. But yeah, it's, it's, it depends quite a lot what we are going to do next. It's a step by step, song by song. So there's now not really maybe a one universal way to do. Yeah. Yeah, kind of very organically. Uh, you could say that basically Jonas does the guitar stuff and I do the singing stuff. <laughs> but, uh, but also it, it varies from, from song to song. There are many. Jonas, what do you think? It's... Oh, very, very difficult to remember right away. Good. I would say the moment when you broke your pants. Oh. <laughs> Maybe, yeah, okay. <laughs> that, that was a good, actually, good moment, yes. Yeah. Uh, the, the story went that I, I, I we had a... We did some stupid stuff on the stage after the gigs. We were there together, and I, I was trying to do this uh, stretching. What, what is it called spagati? <laughs> you know, split. Yeah, I was uh, trying to do that, and uh, I had only one pants with me, and I, of course, my broke my pants. Do uh, and I was doing that, and the day after that, next morning, I went straight away to the clothes store, and. Uh, I didn't have to say anything when I went inside. There was only this one woman who looked at me and asked me, do you want some new pants? Yes, that's for sure. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> that's why. So it, was a, it was an after party mm. uh, improvisation that yes. broke pants. Mm. Uh, yeah, I, I do sing especially at home well i never drive a car uh, which jonas has good experience of because he always has to do the driving because i don't have a license <laughs> but uh, yeah i i do sing when i'm doing the dishes for example uh, a little bit less maybe in the shower mm, but yeah sometimes when i'm just alone at home uh, but what i do sing is not necessarily flamenco i tend to sing those things that i sang when i was a kid uh, so power ballads uh, 
mm-hmm. like uh, Whitney Houston or <laughs> Celine Dion or <laughs> yeah, something to really, really amuse myself with. Uh, in my case, it changes quite a lot. It's uh, sometimes I uh, listen to really hardcore death metal. Sometimes I listen to really classical music. Uh, there are lots of my favorites. For example, Rachmaninov. Many Russian composers are quite my favorite. And uh, sometimes I listen to world music. Sometimes I listen to jazz. It depends quite a lot. But uh, if, uh, the most of the time I listen to um, what could I say? I, I, I can't name it because it varies quite a lot. I can listen to quite many music styles in every day. So it's a... But yeah, quite many kind of music. I would say me too. For flamenco, there is a lot of this kind of uh, work-related listening. So so i for learning new new verses or learning new material i i do listen to it a lot for work but also for pleasure but i i'm going back to the celine dion or whitney houston stuff i wouldn't say that i do listen to that anymore (laughs) very much uh it's a blast from the past so to say but um, I listen to indie music I listen to pop music I listen to world music but most of the time something that has strong vocals something that I want to sing myself Uh, of course I enjoy also uh, instrumental music and uh, especially piano I love piano music um, but but the I would say it ha- it most of the time it does have something very singable to relate to. I remember actually quite a lot. Um, I remember when we drove there from Berlin, and I remember how was it like when we came in the city town and uh, I remember when we were when we were searching for the venue and then we finally found it and uh, there were no difficulties but anyway I still remember when we go out uh, went under that uh, there was some kind of tunnel through the one building and so on and uh, I remember very well the venue and the hall it was really really beautiful hall and then also when we were everything was set up everything was ready sound check was done and we were waiting there on the backstage and uh, we were a little bit nervous how many will come and uh, because it was our first bigger tour in germany so uh, it was uh, uh, but after after that moment when we went to stage and the venue was totally packed we were thought, whoa, <laughs> and the concert was, uh, it was a blast. We enjoyed it quite a lot. It, it was really, really enjoyable moment. And of course, afterwards, and of course, I want to thank you guys there because you take, uh, you treated us so well. Everything was so easy. Everything was so clear. We, every time we uh, knew where we can eat, where we can, uh, where, where we will sleep and so on, so on. So everything was really easy and uh, yeah, easy to do and handle with. So it was really enjoyable visit there. And really looking forward to come there again, of course. Uh, well, I have I have heard Jonas also telling about his experience there. So of course, I'm very much looking forward to a great festival. And, uh, and beautiful places and also from my colleagues who have uh, performed there uh, and in Germany in general, everybody's saying it's just the best. <laughs> Germany is the best <laughs> that uh, people really come to gigs and, and they are really like open. So really looking forward to that. And then uh, I had to kind of like also check out about about the, the city. And I noticed that it's also like, um, it, um, 
university city. So, so like my hometown Oulu is also kind of famous for its university. Of course, not in the same way of this like old university, but this is also interesting. And then that we share the same sea. This is really nice. Like we can kind of shout from our uh, shore at the Helsinki over there. <laughs> like.